Alchemist colon Brotherhood episode 3. It looks like there are a lot of evil people in this show. Judging by the opening theme song, it looks like these evil people have unique magic powers. There's a lot of people standing there as the wind is blowing. A lot of people sitting there with serious looks on their faces. So let's do it. Show me. So Al accidentally breaks a radio and then fixes it with alchemy. And the villagers see it as a miracle. I guess they don't know about alchemy. <laughs> and they all think that Al is the full metal alchemist Edward. Ha oh, ha ha. I don't think this joke is ever gonna get old. Mmm. Okay, so there's a there is a priest who's giving them promises, and Ed's suspicious. He can perform all these magic tricks and stuff that everyone there's like, oh it's a miracle, it's a miracle. But Edward and Al are like, obviously it's alchemy duh. <sighs> So he's wearing a ring, I guess. Is that something? Ed states straight up, I'm an atheist. So they meet this girl who want, who believes in resurrection. And Edward is like, no, no. You don't even know how wrong you are. So it seems like Ed is trying pretty hard to change this girl's mind about God. I'm nervous about this girl's backstory. So at first the priest is like, I don't want to see him, no way. But then he's like, wait, did you say the Elric brothers? And the high priest is like, oh my god, they figured out my secret. I think it was pretty obvious from the very beginning that this guy is corrupt. Oh, he's got a gun. No! Okay, so the girl's name is Rose. And he's like, they're evil, they're evil. And then they beat him up. This isn't the high priest, though. It's the priest Lackey. Ed and Al dispose of him. Everyone pretty quickly. And then the high priest Cornello rolls up. And he's like, ha ha, sorry about that. No hard feelings, right? Oh, so the ring he's got is the Philosopher's Stone. Which they need. So he tells Rose to pick up the gun and shoot Ed. But she's like, what? 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 This guy quickly became very corrupt. And her world's upside down because she loves God and she loves Cornello and she's like, no, I don't want to kill anyone. So I guess her, her boyfriend died recently, so Cornell promised he would bring him back to life. Ooh. So she shoots off Al's head, but it's cool because Al's just a suit of armor, so it's, it's fine. <laughs> what? So. Cornello pulls a switch, and this giant lion lizard comes out of nowhere. And he's like, it's the Chimera. Ed makes a spear to fight. With his metal limbs, he breaks the lion's claws and beats him up. I don't like what his wound looks like. So Cornello sees what they are. Uh, a soul without a body and someone who's like just part of a body. And he's like, oh, you tried human transmutation. Oh. And Ed's all like, Rose, if you want to bring your boyfriend back to life, then you gotta deal with this. <laughs> oh, he just... <laughs> fight their way through the crowd. And Rose is like, is it all true, Al? And Al's like, yeah. And Rose is like, I don't care about all that, because Cornello is a good guy, even though he just shot at her with a machine gun. So Ed's chatting with Cornello, the high priest, and he's like, I want to take over the world, I guess. Now his eyes are glowing, he's so evil. Ha ha ha. He ah. <laughs> that was awesome. So he has a, an intercom system that broadcasts the entire town. And Ed turned on the broadcast system just as Cornello was announcing what his evil plans were that he wanted to take over the world. That was hilarious. Oh. Ew. 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 His arm like fused with the gun. And now he's. Uh, uh, mm, what? This came out of nowhere. Oh, the philosopher's stone broke, crumbled into a pile of 
close and blew away. Oh, it was a fake. Oh. Thought it was a little too early for them to already acquire the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> okay, Cornello runs away. That's the end of that. <laughs> oh, Rose is back with a gun. And she's like having an existential crisis because her boyfriend's dead. And she's like, what do I do now? And Ed's like, whatever. <laughs> He's kind of like, grow up. And now all the villagers are really pissed off because of, you know, that announcement that was made. Oh, and now it's the lady and the fat guy from the first episode. Ew. 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 She just like extended her finger into his forehead and he died. And the fat guy ate him. The more I watch this show, the more terrified I become. One minute it's wicked whimsical, and then it's like, blah, murder, blood, scary imagery. So, yeah, there's that. See you next time.